What's up everyone, my name is Lee Hua and welcome to the Super Rufina channel where we review games with our impressions, explain what to expect, and how to play the game. And today we are reviewing the game Kotodama The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa. Kotodama is a visual novel game with a hint of puzzles. The story is set in Japan with our character transferring into the school. Fujisawa Academy and this school has seven mysteries these urban legends and they actually have a dark truth behind them the characters that we encounter in the game are involved with these dark truths Kotodama is actually a power that our character acquired from partnering up with a demon her name is Monchan she's really cute but she's a demon so we don't know what's going on there yet anyways so Kotodama is the ability to find the truth. And to find the truth, you need to take out the layers of that person, get really deep down inside of them, and take that truth out. The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa Academy is one, the principle of Fujisawa Academy. Not a single student has ever seen this principle. Two, the Library of Wisdom. Three, the Curse of Mikoto. Four, the Wandering Gentleman. 5. The Clock Tower Angel 6. The White Wolf and 7. The Future Reflecting Mirror These are the 7 mysteries we are going to investigate throughout Fujisawa Academy and we're going to utilize Kotodama to get down to the truth and find out the dark truth behind these legends. This here is The Quacker. The Quacker is sort of a social media platform where people will share their thoughts, opinions, and information. This is where we're going to gather our information and it's going to let us know where we should go next to investigate these seven mysteries of Fujisawa Academy. As a reminder, this is a novel visual game where we are going to explore, read a lot, talk to a lot of people, read a lot, and encounter characters and whenever a character gets announced with their own cutscene that's when we know we're going to activate the kotodama on them there are seven mysteries to solve and we're going to do the kotodama on a lot of people when we encounter a character that is hiding something from us we're going to activate kotodama when Kotodama is activated, this is where we're sent. This is based off the imagination of our character. And to get to the truth, we need to fill up this happy gauge that's located on the top right corner. When we fill that up, then we get closer to getting to that truth. Now to fill up that happy gauge, we need to match up these marbles uh, to their colors, three or more. And to match up the colors, you need to pick one of them and it'll pop right back up to the top of this puzzle. So it's not like your usual puzzle solving game. This one, it only goes vertical, only vertical to move the marbles. So for example, you pick a marble, it disappears, it goes up to the top of the puzzle then everything in that column drops down. You want to drop the marbles down so it can match with some other colors. When you match the colors, three up, it disappears and it helps fill up our happy gauge. Now, there is a certain marble you want to match up as much as you can. And that's the one that has like these interesting symbols over here. It's not going to be the same for all of our characters. Each of our characters is attuned to different elements. Over here, we see that we can use these tools that will either benefit us or ruin us. So the way it can benefit us is it can help us with our moves. If you see down here, this number right by me, this is the amount of moves we can do. Once it goes down to zero, it's game over. We have to start all over to where we last saved. When we use these symbols on the side over here, we have to put it on top of the body of our subject. Each one is a little different. I've only dabbled with that feather one. 
which tickles our subject if the character likes it. Yay! We get our moves boosted up, some marbles get cleared away. It's great, but if our subject doesn't like it, then it just redoes the whole puzzle. And we have to figure out where we're going to match up our marbles all over again. If you're like me and don't think that far ahead, it's no problem. But if you do think far ahead and you're planning to eliminate certain marbles, then you're in trouble. <laughs> like other games, when we hit a certain combo, when we clear out a lot of marbles all in one move, we do get these bonus items and when we use these bonus items, it does clear out more marbles which helps us fill up this happy gauge faster. And that is amazing, it feels exhilarating when we see all of those marbles get cleared out. Here, I would like to explain the taking off the layers to get down to the truth. So according to the imagination of our character, the way our character wants to take off the layers is to literally take off the layers of the clothing on our subject. So every time when we fulfill a certain part of the happy gauge, a piece of clothing gets taken off. So you're taking off a layer of the subject to get down to the truth. I did find the de-layering of the subject interesting because it did get a little risque where I was worried if it was inappropriate for all ages. But once we got to that last layer, it just transitioned to us to the next scene. We didn't see anything underneath that last layer, which I was very happy about. Throughout the game, as we're investigating and talking with people, we're going to pick up words or phrases, and these are for the word book. The word book will collect these words or phrases, and each word or phrase is connected to a certain attribute, and these are the attributes we see during the Kotodama, these marbles, and the attributes are like fire, water, etc, etc. These words or phrases will help amplify the attributes. So when we're doing the Kotodama, we clear out a certain color or a certain attribute, it will give us points and help us fill up that happy gauge. Here is where we see what we collected for the word book. It's going to show the words and phrases we've collected and what attribute they're related to. On the side note, after we're done, executing Kotodama on our subjects, we are going to be able to do the puzzles again from the title screen menu. So in the title screen menu, we are going to go to this puzzle area and it's going to show us all of the people we did the Kotodama on. And we'll be able to redo the puzzles and fulfill some challenges. Over here you can see that I have only done two subjects and I can pick either one to redo and fill up some challenges, level up in them. And that was our super final review of Kotodama, the 7 Mysteries of Fujisawa Academy for the PlayStation, also available on Nintendo Switch and PC. If you guys like this review, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more game reviews and such, don't forget to subscribe and opt to get notified on future uploads. You can also find us on social media, Twitter and Instagram at Lehua Superfina. And we also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. We stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 10.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time and Saturdays 9.30 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Thank you guys for watching this till the end. My name is Lehua and this was our Super Rufina review of Kotodama, The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa for the PlayStation. Hope to see you guys later. Until then, bye!